too woke? Hey, Pierre Polyev, it's time for you to wake up. Cheers from a crowd of dozens as crews removed the statue of Sir John A. Macdonald from City Park in Kingston. The monument of Queen Victoria at the Manitoba Legislature has been taken down during a protest on Thursday. On the Ryerson University campus, the statue of Egerton Ryerson, the school's namesake, has been knocked over. Churches across the country have been targeted in a series of vandalism or arson attacks in recent weeks. He was fighting a fire at an historic church in Bourneville. Instead of there being Mother's Day celebrations with cards like this one at a Quebec school, parents will be the center of festivities after teachers at La Chantelle School in Quebec City made the controversial decision to replace Mother's Day. Uh, shows them wearing bike shorts, a blonde wig, and tight tops over abnormally large prosthetic breasts in the classroom of uh, Canada's passport is back in the news. This time, though, it's got nothing to do with delays. The passport is getting a makeover. Uh, the images are changing. You know, the images on the pages inside uh, that represent Canada. So they're changing. Think more natural landscapes and wildlife, uh, less uh, monuments and historical moments. So we'd like you to. Look uh, we, we like to say people kind, not necessarily mankind, because uh, yeah. it's more inclusive. There we go. Woke has one purpose, only one purpose. Plenty of pretexts, but only one purpose control. It is designed to divide people by race, by gender, by ethnicity, by religion, by vaccine status, and any other way that they can divide people into groups, because why? Then you can justify having a government to control all those groups. No more woke.